Hey guys, um, welcome back. I don't know what to say now. It's been a little while since we've kind of been able to just like talk, talk about life and things like that. And I kind of want to talk to you guys just about, I don't know, life, drama, important things going on in life. So let's just do that. I mean, it's kind of late and I'm bored. You might be bored because you clicked on watching this video. So now you're in for a real treat. Why did I just say that? As you guys know, I don't have many friends, so the weekend is never very interesting for me, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is, right? The less friends, you would think the less drama, but for some reason, like, drama always finds its way into my life regardless of me not having any friends, and I don't know why. I feel like in high school, or I guess after high school, I distanced myself from my high school friends because of all the drama. I feel like the person I am now, I don't have the energy to deal with that. Especially making videos and stuff like that. If the people that I knew before found my videos, they would probably make fun of me or say something like rude about it, even at the time when we were friends. So I just don't need that negativity in my life. I just pretend like they don't exist. And if you're watching this video right now, Somehow drama still finds its way into my life, so basically what happened is I am a part of an organization at school that I am basically doing for experience and it's frustrating because I feel like a lot of times I put a lot of my effort into a lot of things that I do. The reason why I feel like I have not been doing as well as I usually do recently is because I'm putting a lot of my effort into different things that I'm trying to get into. I'm putting my effort into YouTube, I'm putting my effort into school, work, extracurriculars, and things like that. So I'm giving less and less of myself to each thing the more things that I put effort into. But with this particular organization, I have just been in it for a long time, longer than anyone else in it, and I have put so much effort and so much of myself into it, and I've just been so underappreciated by them. I feel like everyone just expects so much more from me than they expect from other people, which in turn is like a compliment, but is also not there at all. I I really like feel strongly about equality and fairness and when I'm like treated unequally to other people it makes me upset. I was not being treated fairly so I'm quitting. Yeah. Wow, great. I'm going to have more time for you guys. It is kind of sad just like not having those relationships anymore especially ones that I thought were like you know when you think you're close to a friend and like they've got your back and then like crap hits the fan and they're like peace and they don't back you up that's exactly how I feel so I'm kind of mourning those like potential relationships that I could have grown but other than that I'm like it's whatever that's where I'm at right now I don't really know what else to say about <laughs> that situation I know I'm being so vague about it but I don't want to like specifically say it because there's a very good chance that people other people may see this and uh why i don't want to create more drama i just want to fill you guys in about what's been going on in life but it's very frustrating and it's been like very much affecting my my happiness really and i just want to protect my happiness and my peace and i'm thinking that quitting is going to do that for me and i really think it will i'm about to head into walmart right now i just think it's absolutely terrifying going to stores like by myself at night like especially as a woman i get scared especially walmart because you see so much stuff we're gonna be good. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm nervous. Also, my current outfit doesn't give me the best running capabilities, so. The way I almost just thought these long boots were on sale for $11, I was about to lose my mind in here. I want long boots so bad, but they're so expensive. I think I'm having like a current like shoe problem situation and I've been loving new shoes. And it's a very expensive habit to have, and I need to stop it. I also have a really big problem with looking at baby clothes. Like, I sent my boyfriend literally, like, the other day these cute little, like, green and beige, like, sweater things. They're so cute. I really need one of these to make the lattes at home. But, like, the price. The way I got so distracted, now I can't even find what I actually came here for. I found it. 
I'm gonna try this new curl cream and hope that it makes my hair look good. I also got some face wash because I'm almost out. I got my stuff. Those are all just necessities. I know it's kind of boring, so that's why I just added it to this video. But also I was so scared walking back to my car. Literally there was a car like slowly trailing behind me on the walk back and I was like, let me get my keys out so I could like get in the car as quick as possible and lock the doors. Also, I get so nervous filming in public because people like look at me, but I shouldn't even be scared. I don't know why I am. It's just like, I don't know. I feel like this is natural to be kind of embarrassed. Like I would be on one aisle, like talking with no one on the aisle, walk to the next aisle and there's someone standing like right there and they look at me and I'm pretty sure they heard me, but it's whatever. I think I'm gonna go get a milkshake now to reward myself for being brave but one thing that I was just thinking about when I was talking about like high school having high school friends and stuff like that and people that I don't talk to anymore was like there are always those people like I know you guys know what I'm talking about like someone gets famous and someone's like I knew them in high school and they were a bully they bullied me and absolutely like those things can be true but I feel like most of the time people are like doing it for clout and I'm so scared that's gonna happen to me like I have gave like absolutely no reason for anyone to be mad at me about anything like I've always been so nice to people because there's no reason to be mean to people like unless they do something like really horrible to you there's no reason to be mean to them i've changed so much since high school and the person that i am now i'm like proud of if someone tries to use me for clout i would probably i don't know what i would do i don't know if y'all know but basically like every single time i pull into arby's they tell me the machine is not working it's worked i think one time since I've been here this semester and I'm really hoping it's working tonight. I feel like they always say it doesn't work at night. Also guys, don't hate on Arby's. They're like the, my favorite place to get a milkshake. I'm not really like a milkshake person, but if I was, then this is the place. That's why I always go here for a milkshake. I'm not gonna ask, I'm just gonna order it. Let's see. Hi, can I get a small chocolate milkshake? Thank you. Success! Success! Oh my god, are they gonna know I'm filming myself? Oh my god. <sighs> the anxiety wave that I just freaking had come over me is horrible. I'm so excited. It actually works. Should I give them exact change or would that be like too much? Anyways, I just want to say a huge thank you to Arby's. Thank you. I'm so happy. Anyways, enough of drama and worrying about what people think of me. I just, I try not to worry about what people think of me. And I literally talk to my, like, therapist about this. I, their opinion shouldn't matter. But, like, I say they don't and I feel like they don't. But sometimes those thoughts kind of, like, creep in. I don't know if that's the same for anyone else. But sometimes they do. I want to not care. And sometimes I think, like, oh, what if someone's saying things? But I just have to learn to just be me. Like, people can hate on me. They can say what they want. They can not like me. Hopefully you guys like me. Imagine you guys are like secretly hating me. You're like, I hate this girl. I'm watching her new video right now. Why am I like this? Maybe you guys do, but thank you guys so much for like supporting me. You guys have absolutely changed my life and, and I don't even have that many subscribers, but if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel right now. We're going for 400 subscribers. Let's go. And I'm about to get it. I'm terrified. Oh my God, he's gonna, <laughs> you're gonna know I'm filming myself. Hi. Thank you. you have a good night. Thank you, you too. Oh my God, why was he so nice? I always try to be extra nice to people who work in fast food because I know that job like really, really sucks sometimes and i just want to like make their day just a little bit better because fast food can be rough i don't want to say i would never work in fast food but you cannot catch me working in fast food also i can't believe i ever worked in customer service like guys i worked in customer service never probably never again but never say never right let's park i've been i've been gripping this dollar bill and it's like <laughs> bent up now 
let's do a taste test of my beautiful, beautiful milkshake while we're here. Incredible. Beautiful. Amazing. Anyways, wherever you are, I hope you are doing well. I just want to thank you so much for watching this video. It was kind of nice to just like catch up and just talk about things that have recently been on my mind. I don't know. It feels good to kind of like get it out. I am going to be going home fairly soon, so I just wanted to let you guys know that. So you guys will be getting a little bit of different content, guys, and I have a really big announcement coming soon that I will post about on here. I'm just really excited for the next up and coming month. I don't know if you guys kind of get where I'm going with that. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time, and peace. No, I do not end up. I do not end like that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.